Speaker Mike Johnson asserts that Canada leans heavily on the security afforded by its proximity to the United States, critiquing its inadequate contributions to defense spending. When the grenades are close to your own backyard, it gives you a renewed sense of priority and commitment. I mean, by contrast, shamefully, Canada announced in the last few days or the last couple of days that they won't be ponying up. They're not going to do their 2%. Why? Talk about riding on America's coattails. They have the, you know, they have the safety and security of being on our border and not having to worry about that. I think that's shameful. I, I think if, if you're going to be a, a member nation and participant, you need to do your part. Some have a greater sense of urgency about that, clearly, because the threat is at their own back door. But here's the, here's the reality. If we don't stop it there, it will come here. There's no guarantee. We, we live under this false assumption or you know, false sense of security that we would never have a war on our own shores. But, but guess what? The enemy is here. The public places a high value on robust defense. Johnson's critique of Canada stems from the belief that all allies must shoulder equal responsibility for mutual security. This conservative principle underscores the need for shared responsibility and readiness for potential threats. Johnson's assertion that Canada refuses to pony up reflects a conservative stance on financial accountability. The public agrees that each nation should bear its defense costs rather than depending on American taxpayers. Johnson's focus on self-reliance and the role of each country highlights sovereignty and independence. The public maintains that it is crucial for every nation to uphold its defense capabilities rather than relying on another. The viewpoint that threats should be intercepted before reaching American shores embodies a conservative realism in foreign policy, a pragmatic stance that emphasizes national security and proactive measures.